Okay guys, we're just in from Apre Ski and I thought I'd talk through the knives at the rental. Um, the steel helped on one of the knives. The others are too far dead to uh, do any good. So the Hankel's block doesn't have a single Hankel's knife in it. We've got a few cut codes. We've got a Wolfgang Puck. Um, the sharpest knife here is the longest chef knife. And the back five or so inches, can you can use the steel to get after setting some grooves, some teeth on there to get through a tomato. Um, but there's a number of nicks and dings on this cutting edge on the front six or so inches. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a normal thing. I thought that these Santucos were going to be the strongest knives. They're actually the dullest ones. And as you can see here, they've been through the um, dishwasher a number of times. Their blades are okay, but their handles are cracked. All these handles are cracked. Let's get the light just right here. Handles cracked. Chippy. Had a real hard time even getting through an orange. And then let's move to these serrations. Very, very overused front side of the serration. Some of these back ones are sort of okay, but for this knife to work well, those serrations are gonna to need to be recut. Not too big of a problem on this bread knife, same kind of thing, but this Cutco. The Cutco's got um, kind of unusually more teeth on the front than in the back section of this one. So whoever's been using this, has overused the back side versus the front side. That's that's kind of unusual. So there's the uh, check-in on the knives from the rental. I should have brought my pocket sharpener, and maybe you will, and the next person would have a better time.